got some big green news for you. First is the world's largest e-ferry, called Ellen, that has now started going on their route between two Danish islands, I think it is. It's a big ferry for being fully electric. It can hold some uh, 30 vehicles and 200 passengers. And has, uh, I think, a battery of over 4 megawatt hours. Two engines propelled forward by Danish Danfoss Editron. And uh, they made their uh, maiden voyage, as I think you call it, just now. Uh, as I heard, it's gone well. So, great news. Uh, this comes... Uh, just as new legislation is entering into the maritime industry. In January you would be allowed, I think, to emit only 0.5%, whereas before it was uh, just over 2% of sulfur that you could emit. So a lot of the diesel-powered boats around the world will need to switch to something like this sooner or later. So it's good that these products are being tried out. And uh, I read that it was a great learning experience, so hopefully we'll see this in more commercial uh, routes in the coming years. Uh, as it is now, I think it goes some 40 kilometers and then it charges up some 20-30 minutes between uh, before it goes to uh, the next destination and then it powers overnight as well. So, uh, congrats! Uh, another big thing done by a big company is that Vattenfall is now installing their first hybrid power plant. So it's a combination of wind, solar and batteries that they are putting in place in the Netherlands. A uh, fairly big uh, project, the whole investment is some, uh, well, in energy terms, maybe not so big, but a bit over 600 million Swedish kroner. It will power 40,000 homes in Netherlands with completely renewable, renewable based electricity. Uh, I think this is a great sign in the energy industry. The whole power sector is, of course, undergoing big changes. And this is typically one of the ways forward, I think. Uh, they can now have less downtime when there's zero electricity produced because then they'll have the battery and they can have less peaks because sometimes with solar there's, uh, there are peaks that are also hard for the grid to handle and now they can store some of that. So it's a big, also a big battery unit of some uh, more than 12 megawatt hours I think. Um, interesting development. Good to see Vattenfall. I know you've got a hard time and probably will in the future as well for some of the coal but this is a good development so great. Uh, and then another good development by a company that has been known maybe more for fast fashion and throwaway clothes than sustainability. But H&M will now start their first trial of letting you rent their clothes. It's a line called uh, Conscious um, Exclusive or something that you can rent from. That's the, the, the part of their assortment that they will start with. So it's not all clothes. But it will be that line first and it comes uh, to Sagel's Toy, their flagship store there first. Uh, pretty cool to see something like this from H&M, I think. Yeah. They have uh, ambitious plans that they've announced to become fully circular, so they need to take some steps. And uh, good to see. Companies like Houdini, the outdoor brand, they've been doing this for quite some time, actually trying this rental model, with some success, I think. Uh, my first fleece from uh, Houdini, I think I've had for 10 years or even more. So uh, that could have been rented out to someone and generated a lot of money. I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, Patagonia has been doing great stuff also in this field. So others, of course, has been doing this. They will also have a repair shop where you can go and repair your clothes there at H&M. This is something Nudie has been doing really well for quite some time. I buy all my jeans at Nudie's just for that exact reason. They uh, fix them all up. I just hand them in and get them back. So this is a great development, I think, in the clothing industry. Keep it up. Happy to see it. Had a lot of news. So there's plenty more coming, but uh, tune in again.